Hi there, I'm Jill Wellington and I'm going to show you how to add snow and animate it so it looks like it's actually falling right in a still picture. And these are really fun to share on Facebook or you can even send them through an email. But I'm going to show you how to do this. You must have CSX extended in order to do this. I'm so sorry. I, I hope you have it. If you're not sure if you have the extended version, go up to Window up here and if you can find Timeline in your drop-down menu then you have the ability to do this if not I'm so sorry but you really do need to have the extended version and we're gonna start out with this picture it I like this one because it's a winter scene but it's got a kind of dark background so my snow will show up nicely in this but first of all we're gonna have to resize this because it's way too big we if we're gonna post this on social media we're gonna need a smaller size so go up to image image size and the longest edge should be a thousand pixels. My width is the largest edge, so I'm going to change that to a thousand. And you can see that the height automatically filled in there. And we can click OK. There we go. I'm going to bring it a little bigger, but it is a smaller size for us to work with. Now I'm going to show you my snow overlay that I'm going to use. You can purchase this snow overlay in my Etsy shop. It's part of a collection of snow overlays and I'm using the one titled Snowy Snow. But if you already have a snow overlay, you can go ahead and use that. If you want to make one, you can do that. But just in case you don't have access to one, you can purchase one in my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link below to do that. But we're also going to want to resize this. So we're going to go back up to image, image size, and change the same thing 1000 for our longest length, 1000 pixels, and click on OK. Now we're going to go up to filter, and we're going to go to other, and go to offset. And we'll go ahead and click OK on that. But you notice now that there is a noticeable seam right there. We want to get rid of that. I'm going to use my rubber stamper, which is the clone stamp brush. Click on that and see how big my brush is? I can change the size of my brush using my right or left bracket key on my key computer keyboard. And if you know how to clone, you just go to an area where you're going to grab the pixels. I'll just put it right here. Click on Alt and on left mouse click. That's where you're going to be starting to collect the, the pixels from. Now I'm going to move my cursor down and start painting on that line there so that it no longer looks like there's a, a definite line there. And you can reposition your cursor at any time. Just getting rid of that seam. And I don't like these big blurs, so I'm going to actually clone over that too. For this case, this purpose, I, I don't really want the big blurs in there. There, that looks really good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern with this. So go up to Edit and Define Pattern. And now you can just name it. I named mine Snowy Snow because that's what it's called. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you don't need this anymore, so go ahead and click right out of that. Now we're back to our picture and we're going to go down and we're going to add a blank layer. Click on this little piece of paper, create a new layer. You can see the new layer above your background and your layer palette. Now we're going to dump black in here. So make sure your black is on top. If it's not, you just toggle back and forth with these arrows, put the black on top. Go up to your paint bucket tool, looks like a little paint bucket, click on this. And now just anywhere in the picture, click, and now that dumped that whole can of black paint in there. Go up to your fill over on this side, click on the drop down, and in with this slider, we're going to take the fill right down to 0%. Now we're going to go down here again. And we're going to click on Pattern Overlay. That's in the FX drop down menu. Click on that. And right here, it says Pattern. And in this drop down menu that's to the right, click on this. 
And the pattern that you just added is the very last one in the palette. So slide this down and click on the very last one. And now in the blend mode, click on the drop down and click on screen. And you can play with your opacity. I actually think mine's a little too bright with the dark background. I'm going to take my opacity down to about 75%. And that looks good to me. So I'm going to click OK on that. Now we're going to go up to Window, go down to Timeline, and see right here it says Create Video Timeline. Click on that, and now there's a little arrow next to Layer 1 over here. Click on this, and if you see only this, grab the bottom edge here and stretch it out because you're going to want to click on Style right there. Click on that. Now we're going to go up to this little blue arrow here and drag this all the way over to the edge of that purple, this purple area right here. Now we're going to go up, let's kind of move this out of the way so we can see what we're doing, and go up in your palette and click on Pattern Overlay. Now we're going to move this out of the way a little bit, go up to your Move tool, that's the very top tool, click on that. Now. I'm going to go ahead and click with your left mouse at the very top of this picture and I'm just going to pull down very slowly, very slowly. I don't want the snow to be falling too quickly. And when you're about, let's go about a quarter of the way down, just stop. Now we go up in your layer style, click OK, and now we just go ahead and click the play button right here, and there it is. It's animated. The snow looks like it's falling. Isn't that so neat? So now if you want to save this, go here, and there's this little arrow here. Click on this. This is to render. It does take a little while to render this, but you just go ahead and click on render. And I actually had already created this before, but go ahead and put it in wherever you want to keep it stored, whatever folder on your computer. But that's how easy it is, and I hope you'll be creating lots of those. We have the winter ahead of us, and these are also really fun for Christmas pictures, too. So enjoy this. Bye-bye.